Okay, basically what we're doing here is we're going to make a crossover cable, um, and that's to go from one device to another, in this case the router to the Xbox 360. Uh, what we have here is Cat5e unshielded twisted pair cable. And so this is a little impromptu video we're going to do to show you how to put the connector on, because it is kind of a little tricky pain in the tail. So what you're going to need is obviously the wire, the connector, um, the crimping tool for the connector goes in there like that. Uh, in the case of, sh of stripping the coating off the wire or the outside covering on the wire, they have a special tool for that. I don't have that. So in this case what we're going to do is use a utility knife. Now when you use the utility knife you're going to go back about two inches and you're just going to be real careful about twisting around the why you just want to barely cut through the, the the outside covering of the cable so you don't cut into the other wire so you try it a little bit and then you pull it off and then what you want to do is you want to inspect the wires to make sure you don't have any little nicks or cuts or anything in them okay so then the next thing you want to do is you want to take all the colors of wires and untwist them just get it started there and untwist and as you untwist them because you're going to pair them up in a different way straighten them out to a certain extent best you can each one untwist it straighten it out straighten it out and Move them out of the way as you go, it makes it a little easier. Now, there's two key things to this that make it a lot easier that I've found. The first thing is, as you put the wires in the right color sequence, what you're going to want to do is first you get the color sequence. In this case we're doing the, the other side. We've already done one side so we're doing the other side. The first wire is white and green. So you, what you want to do is you want to look at all the wires coming out and they're all in a certain order because they were twisted up differently than what we're doing. So as you get the wires in their right order in this case it's white, green, and then green. In this case they're right next to each other so we're good so far. And then it's a white orange. So see how the white orange is kind of over here away from the white and green. You kind of want to try to move it around inside the cable till you get over there next to it so they're kind of lined up. So once you have them in the right order they don't move around and cause you a lot of frustration. Next one will be white and brown. Now another trick is the white and brown and white and orange are kind of similar so you gotta make sure you get them in the right order. Try to get it right next to it. It's not as easy as it looks but once you get it it's good and then after that you have the brown browns in a good spot there after that we have the orange move it around get it in the right place and then we have blue and then blue and white so that's the right sequence now the next major trick in this is basically you want to take them in the right sequence and what you're going to do is you're going to wiggle the wires back and forth. So you're just kind of doing this. And basically what that's doing as you're wiggling those wires back and forth is that's hardening the, hardening the wire both ways. Wiggle it back and forth. You'll feel it stiffen up as you're doing it. Obviously you don't want to do it too much because you're going to break the wires inside there. But you kind of just get it to where it, it's going to stay in the right place. So when you cut this wire off, all the wires stay where they're supposed to be and you can push them right into the connector and they'll be in the right order. That's feeling pretty good there. And then you inspect the wires one more time to kind of make sure they're still in the right order. It looks like they're pretty good. And then what you're going to do, this, this crimping tool has a cutter in it built into it. So basically what you're going to want to do is just stick it into either side stick the wires through till you have about I'll say about half an inch or maybe a little less and just go ahead and cut them off and you have the wires left over there once again 
check it to make sure it's in the right order. Mm -hmm. Looks good. And then what you want to do is you take the connector, you kind of hold them spread apart there. You take the connector with the tab part down and then you're just going to basically I'm just checking to make sure it's in the right order because you don't want to get them screwed up. You take them and you slide them in and if they're stiffened enough they should all kind of go right into the connector just like kind of racehorses in a starting gate. And you just push it on in until it stops. You can kind of feel it kind of dead in there. And then you take your connector you have two different ones here, one's for the 45 and one's for the small one for the phone jack. And you put it in there. Once again, you just push it in there till it stops. And then you just take a nice squeeze it till it stops. Pull it out. And then you're good. And then basically what they have, they have a tester you can use to test these. I don't have that, so we're going to test it by hooking it up to the computer and the Xbox 360 and see what happens. And that's it.